Nah, you can you can put the line up. I'm not doing that one. <laughs> yeah, guess what? Guess what? Yes, we are back on the wakeboard, and I couldn't be more stoked. It has been a long six months, but this story is one which started around four years ago. So let's take you guys through this entire process. It was around four years ago when this injury first occurred. We are here at the top lake. We've been out here making some new setups with the boys. Me and the boys had built a little bit of a landing ramp for us to test and uh, yeah, things went a little bit south. ended up dislocating my shoulder and I ended up tearing my labrum. The initial diagnosis from the doctor said that most likely I was gonna need surgery, but I was just at that critical moment in my career. I just signed onto the international teams and the doctor said that I probably could get away for a little bit of time without needing the surgery. Flash forward to 2023, the best I've ever ridden before. And unfortunately, this shoulder was just not wanting to cooperate. It's me, Ryan Peacock, the f loser. It was gonna be time to go under the knife. A fortunate turn of events meant that I was able to get a surgery very, very quickly out in Lithuania. <laughs> so after the surgery, I decided I was gonna go full speed ahead with the recovery. Five weeks out of surgery. Shoulders definitely feeling much better. Past couple of weeks I've been getting in the gym, strengthening up the rest of my body. Today we're heading down to see the physio. Shout out Mr. Neil Minter. We would not be where we are today without you. Best physio on the planet right here, I tell you. So there we have it, all checked in with Neil. I've been given my last few exercises. Still very light body weight stuff and resistance bands for the time being, but yeah, definitely getting excited to move and progress things into the gym. So I finished up the season a little bit earlier than I had planned and spent a little bit of time back in the UK, down at White Mills, one of my favorite parks, and then from there flew out to Cape Town to begin the recovery process. Here we go, here we go, on the plane. I think I got the aisle seat, 36C for the long leg. <laughs> if it isn't my trusty girlfriend, come to pick me up, huh? Here we are, 20... 1st of November 2023, everything is going just great. I'm absolutely loving the training, loving the swimming. But yeah, shoulders feeling good, feeling strong, enjoying the process, enjoying moving my body. Such a solid, solid way to start the morning. A little 2,000 meters on the clock. I'm feeling good, feeling strong, people. Like, this is the one thing in my head right now. Like, what if I could keep this up? I'm just gonna focus super, super hard on my training. And uh, yeah, just see where it takes me. I think if I can train a bit more like an athlete, then uh, yeah, hopefully the results will speak for themselves. So yeah, stay tuned, people. It's gonna be a good year. Is that a functional range? If it's out here, something's gone pretty wrong there. It's the majority of the time gonna be down, round, and in this yeah. kind of area, it's never really up there like that. What's your feeling on that restriction? Do you think that that is improving at all? Or do you think that that is really just coming up against a, like a blocker like that? 
It's definitely been a long process to get to this moment right now. So I am incredibly stoked to be getting back out there on the board. And it's actually been really fun, fully committing myself to the recovery and just enjoying the process, getting in the gym, strengthening the rest of my body. And the goal is to really have a power, power season this year. I've come to realize you are only as old as your mind tells you. So I've still got the potential that the young Raza once had. This year, we're gonna be absolutely getting it. I am super excited to be back out on the water. I'm gonna take you guys for a few little hits right now. Things are still a little bit rusty. We got quite a long way to go with the shoulder, but what I can say is, man, I have missed wakeboarding and it just feels so good to be getting back out there. So I'm gonna get ready. We're gonna see you out there on the water and let's get it. much fun super super stoked to be out here in Cape Town sessioning the Dirty Habits 2.0 and what a crew we've got here as well it's been epic to ride with everybody and uh, yeah very simple setup but that's exactly what I need right now making sure to practice all of my surface skills getting a few little kicker hits here and there and of course getting some of those air tricks back slowly Thank you guys so much for tuning in and joining me on this journey to the shoulder rehabilitation. Getting back to full strength, I'm super, super hyped for the season ahead. Liam and I have been working on some really, really exciting plans for this season. So make sure to stay tuned. You know we're going to be bringing you guys along and we'll see you in the next one. Whew.